Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another step-by-step -step commentary on the Battlegrounds. Today we are going to be looking at a third-person perspective duos game. This week I was going to show you guys a game that we did not win, just so, you know, maybe you could learn from some of the endgame mistakes that I go through. However, I decided to show well, you guys like this game because rating me and my duos area. partner here were grinding yeah, I mean, for the minimum requirements to apply for the Gamescom Invitational. So, you know, I knew we weren't going to get invited. We weren't popular streamers. We weren't the best players in the game or anything. However, I wanted to be able to say I met the requirements and I could apply. So, as a try-hard game here, you know, we, we're doing the normal strat where we grab a vehicle, whether it be a boat or a car, and we head somewhere that is a high priority wow. loot place that's, that's that is sketchy. not near the plane, not even within here, flying 100%. distance. You know, you'd have yeah. to get a vehicle or some sort of transportation to get there. Oh, yeah. we'll, so we'll we're first. grabbing then vehicles definitely. here, going to Novo. And um, just, uh, you know, just so you guys here, know, Novo is kind of one of my more favored places to loot in duos or squads because you have the crates there which will give you your great gear, level 3 gear, and your weapons that you're looking for, the snipers and the scopes, and the houses are right beside it to give you all of the meds you're looking for and the weapon attachments, right? So, um, to me, this is one of the better places to loot in the map. So we're heading over here, trying, you know, I'm able to get my vehicle and just leave because my duo's partner does find his own transportation, which allows me to get there as fast as I can hopefully beating anybody else that may be trying to come as well which is you know kind of not very likely because we were able to see people flying out of the plane where they were going etc but hey oh, we no, arrive no, at no. novo here Fucking i get lucky first thing me? i find is a level three helmet oh, however far, my partner far. is driving a um, motorbike and he does flip speed. it I really do. which is you know it's very so easy guys those up. things are tricky it takes a lot of a practice and experience but I i'm not gonna leave them die right that's not my mentality ever my first reaction is to grab a vehicle yeah, and go get ideas. him up so we can come back and loot as quick as possible. So it all works out fine. You know, I, I, you find, I get lucky enough to find a vehicle close enough. I'm able to drive over. He's not too, too far away. So I make it there, get him up, and nothing crazy happens. You know, there's not any players driving by and they're not seeing him. So nothing crazy happens. Let's cut to the, uh, the good stuff. So I did get my partner up, and I just want to include this part here, guys, just to show you. I do take the bike, because the two-seater bike is the fastest vehicle in this game. So even though it does not provide you with cover, such as the Jeep or the Dacia does, it gives you the speed to avoid those hits, right? Those bullets whizzing past you, because the lead time is very difficult. Somebody trying to shoot at you going 150 kilometers per hour is just going to be extremely Bandages difficult. But hey, we get back. We're ready to loot. I you know, I need to get my too. partner healed up. Luckily, find the first aid. You know, the loot's going great right now. We're starting off with the gear, with the meds, you know. And when I, as discussed in, like, I think my first step-by-step, step, I was saying, you know, you may want to discuss where you're going to loot and everything just to make it more efficient. However, me and Skitty... We've played with each other long enough to know what we're going to be doing here, and there's no need to discuss right, it. We just get right into it. He's going houses, oh, I'm yeah, going I'm crates. Gonna we're gonna, we're just, just going to get this shit. place done as quick as possible. Yeah, and houses. we actually did get very lucky getting a second island circle here, guys. The second island circle was actually my favorite circle to play. It's just it's extremely fun. A lot of people are going to die swimming across or driving across the bridge, etc. It sets up for you know, a really fun game. So I enjoy it quite a bit. But we luckily are the first ones here at Novo. You know, we're able to grab loot and everything. And I, every time I get the first circle, I try to take advantage of it, right? You know, I'm going to loot everything, get as fully decked as I can. I'm going to be watching the planes for the airdrops, hoping to get a Grozer and on because, you know, the best they are and the best sniper in the game. It kind of makes the game a little yeah. bit easier for you, right? So that's what we're looking for here because I never get first circle, guys. I have the worst luck in the world. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. However, I'm able to pick up a Vis here as my first gun just, you know, just so I'm prepared for anybody to stop by. No my partner does call it a vehicle. Yeah. I hear it at the same right, exact time he does. I'm running over immediately to look. You know, I have a gun. I have my gear. I'm not going to give them a chance to spread out and loot and then hunt us down. I'm not letting it happen. 
Spawn him come through the garage. He has no idea I'm here. I take him out easy with the vis. He's running straight at me with no helmet. Easy kill. Take him out. But we're we're thinking, you know, this guy still has a partner, right? He it's possible he drove here alone or you know anything can happen. But I'm taking every precaution as this is a try hard duos game. So I'm here, I'm watching, I'm waiting, and I'm I i can not wait forever, right? Because you know, the game's gonna proceed and we need to keep looting we need to get our meds and everything so i'm trying to bait here hoping skitty has my back trying to find where this guy's at he does peek that garage there however i do not notice immediately but i do find him he has an ak versus my vss i take him out no problem no hits easy kills now the problem with this team right guys is that they they showed up way too late now don't get me wrong they were prepared you know they had their guns they were ready to fight but you cannot show up to a high priority loot area you know like even a minute or two minutes after the game started because people are going to be there they're going to be defended up with their gear and weapons and you know it's going to be extremely difficult to challenge them unless you're approaching from a very tactical standpoint you know trying to find the enemy me and hunting them down before you actually go in and try to get Bro, loot and everything which that team did not do hits. right they just pulled up in their vehicle they let us hear them they ran straight in completely unprepared so easy takedowns even though i did have you know not so great of a gun so um now that this is mostly going to be just looting for a little bit let's let's talk about this for for a little bit here guys right so you know, we did talk about the crossbow before, and what I was saying when I was saying that it's all kinds of whack is that, you know, it does have a one hit to the head, right? Yeah, I mean, you could have Amazing. You know, that's that could be very helpful for a stealthy play or whatever. However, guys, if it, there, it, it does seem rather random if it does any damage at all, whether or not whether it hits you in the body, if it, like... I, I do have video proof of multiple times of myself getting shot with a crossbow in the leg, the shoulder, the neck, whatever, and it absolutely does nothing, right? So, I wouldn't recommend using it, you know, not for serious gameplay, maybe for for the memes, right? Always fun to play around with, but it does seem a little glitchy. I'm not sure if they're aware of this issue or not. I do every once in a while. Now, let's talk about the 9 mil gun, the 9 millimeter guns, the VSS, the UMP, the Micro Uzi, etc. So, the VSS only has a 10 round clip it's and it's going to take about i think seven shots on a level two vest and maybe like yeah, I guess they, uh, four or three bit. or four with no vest or something like that so now guys that is yeah, that's a lot of, of hits especially when you only have a 10 round clip i mean even if it is suppressed naturally I, it doesn't really make it viable because the damage you know versus an ak-47 or any 556 five, ar it's just not gonna it's just not gonna do it now if we're discussing close range, I mean, put it up against the shotgun, right? Are you going to get those seven shots off before he gets one? You know, probably not, right? And that becomes my same issue with the UMP and the micro Uzi. Now, these are all guns I'll use early game, you know, try to find anything I can. And they're very viable when other people don't have the weapons to compete with it. You know, the micro Uzi is great for close combat. And that, along with the vector are you know very yeah. challenging guns to the I'm shotgun it, you know you do but have a good chance of getting that whole thing. whole Money clip into them before they can get their yeah. shot off on you it's just it's I'm rather risky guys you just you know you never really know if you're going to have the time and it that, it just doesn't seem worth it to me <laughs> to carry an smg or a vss over like an ak or even a 5.56 AR would be the UMP in my exactly. opinion. You take an M4 versus UMP, and I'm, I'm pretty sure with the same aim on both players, the M4 is going to win every time, right? No, even with the stability, you know, even with the crazy recoil on the AK-47, if you can control that spray, you will beat the UMP or Micro Uzi every time. Right, guys? Just because of the damage. Micro Uzi Vector, you know, very viable. It would be a very close fight. Could definitely come out on top. Just my opinion. Take it as you will, guys. And uh, let's continue with this game here. So me and Skitty, you may be hearing us, you know, calling out some loot, etc. But we're only calling out the important things, you know. He, I already know he has level 3 helmets. I'm asking him if he, he's running an SMG because I'm picking up the suppressor, right? That's It's very useful for an SMG. 
got if you have the suppressor, which is a uh, main reason speed. some people carry uh, SMGs because you often find the suppressors and the suppressors are incredible. We discussed in a previous video. You can't hear it from like it, the sound starts at about 75 meters away and you can barely even hear it at that range, right? Which does make it very viable. You just have to be able to win the gunfight with the people that you're fighting. I haven't been finding many guns. Um, but besides that, you know, I'm not calling out every level two vest or helmet I see because, you know, I already expect him to have these things. And if he does not, he'll let me know. And he told me earlier on that he does have a sniper suppressor, which is an important item, right? Um, just letting me know if I find a sniper, he has it for me, etc. You know, we're not calling out every piece of loot we're getting. Extremely or unlikely. you know any like everything we're just we're calling out the important things just to make sure comms aren't crazy no, and we can hear like shots or vehicles or anything so the first circle does come in we know we still have about three minutes to loot we're finishing up here we are looting every single part of this place guys like i said novo very high priority loot place one of my favorites you know we're full level three great oh my apologies full level three gear right now we have our, our AK-47 with the, uh, or sorry, AKM with the car 98 k We have our four times as I even have extra four times as for my duo's partner. We're ready to go, right? Because this is all because we got lucky on the first circle. I don't know if you noticed. Now, granted, if we did not get the first logos. circle, we would have similar loot, but we would already have to be moving. Especially if it's on the other side of the map, we would have to left a long time ago, and I wouldn't have likely got the car 98 or, you know. It was it was a lot of luck mixed in with this, and that's what this game is about, guys. Like, you are gonna get unlucky, and you're gonna get lucky. You just have to learn to play with how much RNG is on your side, right? Because you know I've gotten so much bad RNG that I've learned to play with that bad luck. You know, you just gotta loot what you can, and then. Play circle as you see fit, whether you're going to play the outside or the middle if you have the loot. So I'm checking out the plane. I don't see any crates. We really got unlucky with the crates, I unfortunately. I was really hoping for the alms since we had the suppressor, etc. But no big deal, right? We're really decked out. And we're ready to go. So again, finishing up looting here. And um, here, here soon I decide it's, you know, it's time we gotta go. I'm, I'm asking if he needs any of these things I have on me, so, to know whether or not I gotta carry it anymore, because it's, it's weighing me down, so I'm, I'm dropping these extra sights and everything because I don't need it. And, when I discussed earlier that you find your gear and guns here on the crates, that is typically what you're guaranteed to find you know the snipers the gear level at least level two gear and ar etc however this time around i noticed there's an incredible amount of meds and um what we discussed last time guys is if you're finding a lot of something you can expect other people to have that same thing and if you're not finding one thing then you can expect other people to not be able to find this one thing so this game, guys, you'll notice there is a lack of ARs, even on the crates. You know, I found an AK, and that was it. I didn't find any 5.56 AR. I would not. I would prefer to not carry this AKM with the Car 98 because it doesn't have that long-range bullet uh, velocity and travel time that I'm looking for in case somebody's running, you know, it's going to be harder to hit them, right? So I noticed there's a lack of ARs, but there is a ridiculous amount of level three gear and meds so i you know in my opinion i can expect others to have the same thing um because that's my theory right however you know i decide it's time to go i head to the bike going to pick up skitty and we're going to get out of here now before we cut to the next part guys it is a very viable strat to uh, stay in the blue to keep looting houses, you know, to get more meds as you're looting, etc. The first couple circles don't hurt at all, so it's really not an issue. Um, however, we finished looting every single piece of Novo, and there is no reason to take unnecessary damage, which will allow us to kind of keep our meds for later on in the game. So we head out of here. You guys will notice that Skitty has a nice shotgun glitch here, which kind of makes the shotgun, makes him look like a shark, right? Because 
it, it's in the reloading close. animation. It's no, quite no, hilarious. No, I love it. You know, nothing about gameplay there. Just throwing it in for you guys. Now, Skitty does mention that if he was driving this area, he would have, you know, he'd be wrecking and everything. And maybe it help you guys out. Um, at, when I'm driving the bike, you know, when you're going over jumps, just let go of W and uh, pay attention to the way you're leaning. So if your bike's leaning forward, you're not going to want that front tire to hit or back tire to hit because it's going to swing you forward or backwards and cause you to die from falling, right? So you got that control and space key to kind of balance your, uh, yourself out here um, and make sure you take use of that. And most of the time, when I'm driving the bike, guys, even if I don't realize which way I'm leaning, I'll just tap one just to kind of, if like, if I'm, you know, high in the air or I'm in danger of flipping or, you know, anything, um, I'll make sure to just even tap control, you know, just, drop that ammo. even drop if I don't think it's going to balance me out, because most of the time, that you prevents you from that. flipping. Don't ask me why. Car physics, PUBG, uh, it is what it is. Yeah, hopefully that helps you out with the bike a little bit because I know a lot of people have difficulty with it and, you know, people are always dying from it. So try to let go of W when you're in the air. Use your control and space and I, I'll bet you uh, don't wreck as much nearly on the bike. So here me and Skitty, we're stopping at a very, we're stopping at a safe place to kind of swap loot. Now, we didn't just you know right. run in there and start looting you know we we it's very tactically cleared it we split up side to side we're crouching oh we're aiming around Where every corner we're not being That's careless you know this is very try hard situation we are playing for the rank here and we make sure to play it cautiously so we clear that building i get my car 98 yep. suppressor you rough. know i give him some ammo etc not but really important but we're out of here. We can make it work, now, Skitty. We can do it. Yeah, we, we when do. I get so looted like this, guys, I just I kind of feel like it's a target on my back. Typically, this much loot equals death in my mind, right? Because what I say is I'm a pinata. Yeah, we're looted and out everybody wants to bust right me, now, right? So. They want to break me apart and take my shit inside. So I do, I do tend to get a little worried. <clears throat> However, yeah. It is what it is. I'm, I'm not going to play any differently because of this. Yep, it's just something I kind of keep in the back of my mind. Yeah. So here we are. I'm driving to an area that I know is very defensible. Great great to set up at, and it's it's pretty much oh, in a semicircle. Right However, I go right in front of the bridge here, guys. Very dangerous maneuver. Would not recommend it. You know, you always got them bridge campers. You got people crossing the bridge. It's a very high war zone, so if you're not looking to get shot at, I would not drive past the front of the bridge. I wouldn't even drive on the bridge if it's not very early on in the game, right? Sorry, guys, early on in the game, right? So we pull up to this compound. I thought I'd seen somebody. But then I decided it was a bush. We pull up to a very dangerous location in this compound. People start shooting, and we quickly realize that there are multiple teams fighting here. We, we, we know they're in the house because they shot. makes it easy for us to know that they're there. They could have kept quiet and, you know, maybe got the jump on us. However, they gave us the advantage. So here my duo's partner. He's putting in work. I don't really have sight on these guys. I'm just trying to watch watch out back and everything. I'm going around right. And we're, we're taking this fight. Um... This is an amazing location for this circle. I we one. need to take these guys out. So, you know, we're getting into a fight here. These bars on the windows are rough, guys. If you have to shoot through oh, bars on the window, I recommend trying uh, to lean. The, It'll the help, right you know, kind of right. get them out of your right. way a little bit. Roger. Oh. He's got a shotgun. So my partner oh, here is kind of letting me know what information he got during the fight you know what guns they're yeah, using they're trying to where they might be at thing. i hear an arm outside and i try to find him because that is extremely dangerous i find him very close that west guy has an arm. he could have taken us out without us even knowing about him but i spot him right over the let my partner press. know and those yeah. markers guys so yeah, useful for, for relaying running. information He's to running. your He's teammates instead of trying oh, to explain it instead of i'm trying to take your description and find out where they might be at Drop that marker. They're on nice kill. Easy, good solo. to go. Your partner go has the information guys. he needs. He knows what he needs to be doing. I'm taking a dangerous peek out here. I run outside, even though there's a team in that house. That could have been death for me right there. That was a bold maneuver. However, I'm doing this because I do not want that armed guy just to get away. 
you know, a person with an arm is deadly, right? You want to get rid of him as soon as possible, especially if he's in close range like that, because it's, it's not likely he's going to have an arm aimed at your level three helmet and take you out. But he's running. I'm forced to let him go because I get hit by the arm, and there's still a team in that house over there. Oh, we have a circle here. However, we, we get extremely lucky with this circle. We have a very right. defensible okay. position, but I know we need to clear uh, out these yeah, guys in here. My partner, Skitty, did Just kill one earlier, so there's one it. left. You know, he calls out that I, he wants to rush. I'm, I'm, you know, falling right He's behind him, ready to go. I'll try to nade. Just give me a sec. I'm thinking I want to throw in a nade here. Kobe, nope, okay. denying. So, it do, you know, getting through those bars is difficult. I'm not a professional. He has a vector, cuts through the door. My partner rushes in. Boom, double barrel to the face, and we have a very defensible compound all to ourselves. However, you know, again, we're kind of both looting here at the same time, which is my fault. I shouldn't be looting his kill at the same time he is. Doesn't all make sense, but we have walls, a bro. great position here, boys and girls. We're ready to go. Oh, I'm suppressed car 98 four times, and I am primarily looking for this arm guy. Window. However, he was. during this VOD, I, thought it was the guy I had a problem the of the rushing my shots, especially my sniper, especially my sniper yeah, shots, right? Like, um, I was so That's afraid kind of, place, so. of just Hopefully getting get two tapped or three tapped in my head or just taking one shot to my brain that I would just kind of spam off a shot and hope it hits. You know, recently I have addressed this problem and sort of have been working to fix it, and it's beginning a lot better. But that guy in the window, he could have either been dead or hit hard because he was standing still. However, I rushed the shot. He knew I was there. He took cover. I hear people shooting on top of the hill at these guys, so I go take a look because this ridge is great. Guys, you got cover. You got a rock right below you. You got this hill to see over. You can see everything. You can see the beach, hills, compounds. So, I take out a guy with a nasty headshot. He's standing still. Easy kill. Us. His partner runs over to kill him, which, let's be honest here, I should have been able to kill him. No problem. However, I'm working with this AK here, which I'm not, you know, I used to use it every game, all game. I just don't prefer it as much anymore. So. Barn guys have to move. You know, Everybody it, has to move. It is what it is, but I could have killed him. I didn't. He's over yeah, there still. I kill his partner because he's rising behind the tree. In my vision, for whatever reason, so I take out the down guy, and I see these, these arm guys coming past. I'm blowing up this car. I'm doing whatever I can to take him out. I do not want these arm guys to get away because that's so dangerous later on in the game. Like, even like my level 3 helmet would mean nothing to that bullet, so... I'm trying to take him out. I knock one down. The other guy gets away, leaves his partner behind. I don't you die to play zone, you son of a bitch. That's my kill. Up the hill because oh, I do not want these guys coming in behind us, right? I want no. to make sure every single person dies that I was to him. the west there. Yay. So we don't have people behind right. us and we can kind of clear uh, that yeah, whole that area. Down just I, you know, for the most part, we did a good job at that. My skitty no was kind of watching my back there, which was great. Yeah, that might one be guy did a getaway in the well. car, which we're not yeah. sure here so if it was the arm guy or that. not. You know, I'm looking for his box. I, I you know, even if I don't get the gun, I want to make sure that we killed the guy yeah, with the arm. Really that is my away. priority yeah. right now. We can move up because that gun is so strong. I can hear it hitting the ground. I have so many videos. You know, you guys know it. You don't need proof. You know how strong the arm I is. I couldn't find that. Some people don't prefer it because of the limited bullets you have or whatever, but. No, I could just hear it hitting the ground. It doesn't matter. 20 bullets equals 20 here. kills, right? All right. I think we do. So we, d we can't find the yeah, box. We assume it's out in blue, and thing. we're not going to take the damage way. for it. Yeah. We're just going like, to continue blue, playing the it. game. We did hear yeah. somebody yeah. shooting at us. We blue. cannot find them. Don't know if they're on top of the hill or in the bridge or whatever, but it's so far away. We do not hear the gunshot, and it's just kind of hitting the ground around us. No big deal. They're not going to kill us from that range. Let me check out. We continue on. So, I'm kind of, you know, checking out yeah, the landscape here. We have two options, down or up. I, I see the car, right the yeah, yellow daisy that we went up. past before He's with the arm guy. He's under the bridge, which makes Some, me decide to go uphill because pushing here, through though. the open towards yeah, a guy that may was, have an arm I don't know where they were. is not... You know, Probably the, a team in the dump truck most appealing oh, solution to me, right? The most appealing him. situation because, Hit him. again, that bullet, my level 3 under helmet it, means nothing to that bullet. However, I see this guy prone behind uh, the, the pylon on the bridge. He's running Hit him the twice. 
He decides to run toward out in the open. You know, we're shooting Kill at him. him. I want this no. guy dead. Nice. Yes. All guys are dead. Skitty pulls no. clutch. We're we know the all guys are dead. No matter which one of them had it, they are both dead. So and and nobody got their loot. So we know we're good to go. I decide to go down lower here because we have no idea what's south up the hill or on the other side of the bridge. But we do know the bottom of the bridge is clear, right? So we take that position, knowing that nobody can be there to kill us. Which is actually not the case, right? Because the water's still in. People could be pushing up from the yeah, beach. The so Anything. So, so to be honest here, guys, we did get kind of lucky Cover that we me. didn't get shot from the bridge or the look. water or oh, anything. Oh, oh, oh. Because I, I really wasn't yeah, thinking about that too much. But the oh, thing that was absolutely. lurking in the back of my mind is I want this arm if this guy has it. And I'm making dumb decisions yeah, to get that, that gun. And that's kind of the greed that comes out of me sometimes yeah. when I see crates or people with, you know, yeah, car 98s and 8 times and yeah, stuff. I will get in the mentality of doing oh, anything right. I can to take them out and take what they have. Not smart play, guys. I would not recommend it. Here I am looting this guy, trying to switch guns because I prefer a 5.56 AR. And I should have been killed, right? Okay, the compound's right there, us. top of the hill right yep, there. I, I should have died. Yep. However, these guys weren't well, paying I'm attention. So, you I know, fortunately enough, 60. I stay alive. Yep. Skitty calls okay, out guys with the compound yeah, because he's doing us. great this yep. game. He's yep. on fire. He's catching people. He's seeing them. He's Once ready we to go as well. We're, we're both killing us. it this game. Here, I so can, I we can spot do. these guys, oh, and guy I'm not sure if they've seen us, but he runs out in the open. We take Level a couple shots. You know, he's right. yep. I, no, I don't know what yeah. he's doing out in the open there. I'm kind of missing not, my shots, so I just pull out my scar. And sure, mainly, I if I was being smart, was All right, I'm kind of I would always pull out an AR if some guy was running. Like even way before when that guy was on the hill. I should be pulling out my okay, I'm to AK to shoot him as he's you. running. You know, you hey, have 10, 10, 20 times more bullets to yep. shoot at one time. So even if you're not hitting them, you're giving them the pressure that will he's kill them out in the blue brain. zone or yeah, whatever. You know, you're know you're preventing doing. them from just right, running out in the open. Right, now, let's say too. we are that guy that's running out in the open, guys. You can't let somebody shoot at you like that. You need, you need to, fo you need yeah, to shoot back. You, you need to stop and shoot back, which okay, brings me to standing, right? not standing still and shooting. You know, always okay. spam crouch. You know, spam yep. your lean back and forth. It doesn't really mess with your aim too much, and no it moves your head right, so you can't really get headshot um, as easy. Uh, you Just a tip. That guy. I decide I need to cover That's Skitty's fine, back here, and okay, so I assume he can finish the guy at the compound. Left, so we're missing one guy. I find a team yep, up the this, hill. Okay. We know they end up taking out two some two other actually, guy, which so I think was the guy from the compound. Yeah, Haven't really figured it out. I know where the last two are at. We're ready to fight them. They get circles. Nice, Skitty nice. downs one, push, and I push. know it's time to push. We cannot we let them get push. the res off yeah, or anything. Yeah, yeah, we have to go now. There is no there is no thinking about it, no hesitation. Right we have to push, or they, they might win this. So I hear the guy's shots. I look Let's left, go, and I see it's a guy with a ghillie suit. Did not expect that at all, because the last time I seen that team, I know what you meant. they didn't have a ghillie suit, right? So I definitely did not expect the guy to be there. However, so when I seen that team not last, a problem. Not Even if that guy killed me, nope. you know, my so partner would have got him. He did. Uh, I did get lucky with that. Well, not lucky. Two but I got the headshot off on him. He did row. have a level three Woo. helmet, but he was hurt bad. He had two Started people shooting stream, at him. He did not go. have much cover. Call it a bad play, play by them or whatever, but so we, we won the game. That, that is, is another step-by-step -step commentary for you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Much love from the click.